Hey there, it's Ryan Skaggs, and this is the Mortgage Minute. This channel is dedicated to everything mortgage, real estate, and interest rates. And in this episode, we're going to talk about if you can buy a home and work in the marijuana industry. It is, uh, it's a yes, it's a no, and it's a maybe. So keep watching. Now, before we get into those answers, we're going to talk about the interest rates and where we're at today. It's mid to late September 2021. The average 30-year fixed is at 2.86. This is the sixth straight week, sixth straight week that we have seen very, very little movement overall in rates. So we have definitely had a nice little volatility has been down, had a nice little slide where we've had less volatility and pretty much a straight arrow. Now we've kind of going up and down, you know, day to day, but overall you look over the last six weeks, we've moved 0.02 up or down over those last, last six weeks. Check out the link below uh, to freddiemack.com slash PMMS, and you can see their weekly uh, mortgage survey on the average 30-year fixed. While you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to be notified as I'm putting out weekly videos um, on the channel. So please and thank you. Now, let's talk about can you get a loan from the marijuana industry, right, with income derived from it? Uh, last week I talked about, and I'll link, uh, link above, um, if you can use cryptocurrency, because again, this industry is changing, right? So either the marijuana industry or the, uh, regulation, um, in kind of mortgage lending ever changing. So right now as a whole, the government backed loans, because marijuana is still a, you know, federally illegal, right? So FHA, federal housing administration, VA. And then USDA, that's the United States um, Department of Agriculture, they'll do more rural style loans, not farms, but more rural style loans in smaller metro areas. All three of those are federally backed. All three of those stiff, hard no right now. Um, now, again, you've got to apply to be able to see what you'd uh, qualify for. And now we get to the yeses or the maybes, and that is state by state. So I'm sitting in Illinois, which currently is legal. And, you know, obviously every state has a legality to it. Do you need a car? Do you not? Can you walk in? What do you have to do? Uh, things like that. So you definitely want to check with a loan officer licensed in the state. Um, with that said, here in Illinois, yes is the answer. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, if you've heard those terms before, those are government-sponsored entities, but they're private companies backed by the government after the financial crisis. So they are privately held, but backed by the government. They actually allow for, if I worked at a dispensary and I manage a dispensary and I make 50 grand a year in salary, right, then I can use that W-2 income. Now, again, guidelines are ever-changing and state-by-state state could be a little bit different, but likely you're going to get a yes from the lender that you can actually use um, income. If you're a grower or work for, you know, cultivating or whatever it may be, even all the little feeder logistics and all those little subcategories um, in the marijuana industry, yes, is the answer in most states for most of the time. Now, if you are an investor or you own the company and you have a 25% or more um, ownership within the company, now that goes back to a no. So as soon as that becomes self-employed income, right? If you're 25% or more owner of a company, you're considered self-employed. Even if it's just, you're getting just a little piece. If you and a couple buddies own a, you know, own an LLC that's doing whatever it is. And it's just, you know, making or losing, you know, a couple hundred bucks a year, you know, you are considered self-employed for that little revenue stream that would then disallow you from uh, getting a mortgage from say Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. So one added note too, which I think is super interesting. If you um, are, depending on what state you're in, maybe you've got a, um, you've got the ability to grow in your home. So you've got the basement room set up as your little mini grow house. You can have X number of plants, whatever it is. Um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac consider a in-house grow scenario an adverse uh, property deficiency, basically. And neither of them will end up taking that loan if the appraiser states like, hey, there's got a grow house down in one of the closets in the basement or something. So, you know, if you're going to go sell your home, here's some advice, you know, get rid, you know, phone a friend, whatever it may be. You can't have that there. Can't be pictured or whatever else or your buyer's going to have problems. And if you're a buyer and you're walking through and you can tell that they've got one little area that's, you know, they're growing in or something else, 
like that's got to be out before an appraiser walks through it. You're going to have some problems. So again, really the answer is state by state. In most cases, yes. If you're just straight W-2 to hourly, um, you know, no ownership in the company, likely a yes, maybe a maybe um, state by state. And then if you're looking at government backed loan, it is a no. So this is the Mortgage Minute. My name is Ryan Skaggs. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see each other again very, very soon.